I, Mr. Charlie Murray, welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 9. What are you doing just standing there, Corso? Are you okay? You're looking a little green. Just a little. So, we need to go and speak to Laje because Laje has the female Sanjaro beast that, um, what's the name of the hut? Druga! Yes, that, that Druga actually wants. Um, and we kind of need if we want to get the, was it the hyperdrive thing to find Nocturne's fortune? Something like that. Um, so let's go speak to Laje and be all kind and like, can, can, can we, can we, can we have it back please? What on earth is that? The, 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 the smart, the, 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 well, it's clearly not smart with a name like that. Well, it's a bonus mission as well. Um, and I do kind of need the experience. I mean, getting here was a bit of a pain. Because uh, all the enemies are like level 22 and above. So I probably could do with some experience. So yeah, let's just do this bonus mission real quick. Well, why did that count as... What? Oh, because that's an intelligent the brother. This is a smart one. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to kick you in whatever balls that you have. I mean, I don't know where they are in your body. They could be in your head for all I know. But, yeah. Anyway, if these were smart and intelligent, they wouldn't be attacking me. Ha ha ha, get it? No, no. Why does it look like they're setting up a stage show or something? Are these sort of like little lights or they amplifiers or something? They look like stage lights to me. They're probably just amplifiers. I think you're alright. Are we gonna are we gonna see a Broadway show or West End show? <gasps> oh, that'd be great if Lage is putting that on for us. Oh, I've done the bonus. Oh, okay, I've done the bonus mission. I thought I had one more I needed to kill, but and I'm happy about that. I guess I got a little bit of experience. I'm nearly level 20. Ah, sweet. I should get to level 20 by completing this mission, unless there's like more the blurthers in my way, which I don't believe there are. They leave. I have call ca called. Yes, I've called them all. I've killed them all. Wait. There's the female one. Who are you? Laje. My beautiful children. You killed them all. Why? You have something that belongs to Druga the Hut. Please. Kill me. Captain, it's that girl from the Hollow. Momi Andrell. Uh... What did a sick filth he do to her? Laje used me for experiments. Did... Terrible things. I'm dying. I'm just here for the creature. What? We've got to help her. We'll see. Don't let him keep that beautiful beast. He's sick. Silence, so he is. subject. The Shanjaru is invaluable to my research. I need it. The species displays evidence of evolving sapiens. I must unlock its secrets to engineer my perfect life form. Slaves! He wants to make slaves! Smart beasts that comprehend complex commands and perform multi-stage tasks. What the buyers do with them is their business. How much would these smart beasts sell for? Enough to fund my dream of a galaxy filled with intelligent creatures built from my designs. Lashians, if you will. Oh my I have no desire for hostilities with Druga or his agents. I extracted genetic samples from the Shanjaru. They'll have to suffice. The beast cage is a programmable repulsor lift vehicle. I'll send it to Druga immediately. Okay. Druga only wants the Shanjaru so he can eat the last of a species! What? The hut will have his meal shortly. There is no reason for more violence. The way I see it, I deserve something for all my time and effort. I returned Druga's beast unharmed. What more do you want? The Shanjaro's genetic samples are the only way to save the species! Get them from Lage. Lage. I'll pay whatever it takes to keep these samples. Leave me in peace so I can finish my research. You're extinct, you lunatic. Oh, stop! My mind is worth too much! Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Take the genetic samples to the Senate Tower on Kurosan. A researcher named Deruta can clone the Shanjuro. 
repopulate the species. It will be my dying legacy. Leger injected me with awful diseases. Incurable ones. The pain is horrible. I don't want to live like this. Please. Kill me. But if I do, of course I won't like that. After all the trouble you've caused me, <laughs> you can just rot in your cage. Oh. No matter what she's done, that's cruel. What's wrong with you, Captain? At least the Shanjuro will survive. That's if I can be bothered to take it to Coruscant. That's if. Level 20. I feel bad. Damn you, Aolo. Why are you such a prick? <laughs> it, it, you know, I like I like doing Smuggler in the Blind, but it can be pretty cruel sometimes. Uh, hunker down. Hunkers you do down into cover, becoming immune to all controlling effects. Any grants? Eh, I guess. Yeah. I, I feel really, really bad. But that's Smuggler in the Blind, people. Whether you like it or not. Oh, apparently I need to go up here. What's, what's up here, then? Um... Okay. Oh, is this where the barge is actually at now? Ooh. Okay, then. At least it's close by. That's good. Um, but where... Ah! Not very far, then. Seriously? Of all the places you want to stop in Nashadar, it's this place. His, uh... His standards are getting lower and lower every time I go to his barge. Seriously. Um, um, hi, yes, you, Garam. Hi, I'm done. You got both beasts. Wait, I think you got both beasts now. There's, there's one. Um. Oh, I need to give you the mail. Oh, okay. We are so very impressed you survived, Shadow Town. Congratulations. Thank you. Did that female Shanjaru fly here? The Repulsor Lift Cage made a dramatic entrance during the 27th course. The Great Feast Master was excessively delighted by his female specimen's return. As we assured you, his interest in your Sanjaro is renewed. Druga has already contacted your associate to arrange the details. Our Sanjaro will be there shortly, Druga dear. At last, I have a matching set of Sanjaro. The only male and female of the entire species are all mine. You could repopulate the galaxy. Give the beasts a second chance. Why would I do that? They're a failed species. They deserve to become extinct. I've sent your starship engine to the spaceport, beautiful Risha. Come, celebrate our deal. But I need to install that prototype engine. Maybe next time? This fancy new engine. What's it do? It's a sublight engine optimized for extreme gravitational environments. You can read the manual. Boring. The next time you come to Narshad Arboreth, Farisha, I'll expect you to dance with me. It's a date, Druga. Come see me when you're ready to lift off, Captain. Aha! The once almighty Baldar returns. Good, I was almost getting bored. You poisoned me, Hut! The Wookiee's final performance begins. This is gonna upset me, isn't it? You have affection for the beast? <laughs> Unfortunate. Why? The gambler refuses to repay his debt to Druga, so the Wookiee is now property of the Great Feast Master. Gentle beings, watch as the Wookiee becomes a meal for my pet Gundark. I've been starving it just for this occasion. Will the Gundark swallow the Wookiee whole or chew? If he chews, how many bites will it take? Such drama. You're about to see a real live hero in action. Release the Gundark! Powder fights to the death. Okay. Um, heroic moment. Hello. What again? Why does why does it do? An empire symbol. I it should it should be depending on whatever side you're on at the time. I don't know, but hey, it's gonna die in a moment anyway. I mean, it's not cheating, is it? Is it is it is it cheating, Druga? I don't I don't think it was. No. All right. Uh, hello. Out of range. Don't be me My Gundark! What have you done, stupid spacer? 
Odar is under my protection. You and this Wookiee are boring and expensive to maintain. Get out of my sight, both of you! Baldars are free of the hut! You earned Baldars friendship and service. My life is full of trouble, Bodar. If you want to tag along, that's your choice. There is no choice. You set Baldar free. Yeah, free to make my life miserable. He smells like a wet bantha. Ah. Baldar defends and honors you, friend. Always. We do not understand the value you place on this beast, but we will see to it he reaches your starship safely. Ah, oh, thank you. We bid you farewell. It has been stimulating. <laughs> stimulating, eh? Well then. Oh, bye, bye, Corso. You, you just gone. Okay. Ah, uh, going to ship now. Uh, do I do it? The mm, which way do we do it? Uh, I'm gonna do it this way. I don't know why I always debate which way to go back to my starship. Whether I go the main way or if I go the stronghold way. The stronghold way is always quicker. Why do I always debate it? Shut up, C2. Nobody gives a crap about you. But guess who which people do give a crap about? Risha! Just in time. I installed that new engine for you. Wanna take it for a spin? What did you learn to be a starship mechanic? At my father's knee. He was the best. This prototype is really something. You'll find your ship is a lot more maneuverable. I notice we have a new addition to the crew. Wookiees are always good for extra muscle. Is this one friendly? His name's Bodar, and he's as sweet as they come. Really? Oh, about I like because that. Because an angry Wookiee can come in handy. It's funny that a hut is helping us find Nock Drain's treasures. Nock used to terrify the cartel. You know a lot about this obscure gangster. Obscure gangster? People have written massive hollow chronicles about him. Not my fault you've been living under a rock. Twenty years ago, Nock single-handedly killed half the cartel members in a single night. No one ever figured out how he did it. The surviving cartel members gave Nock control over an entire galactic quadrant as a gesture of respect. The Huts never took it back. Who runs the territory now that Nock is dead? The crime bosses who tried to take over all died under mysterious circumstances. Mysterious We're closer success. than ever to finding Nock Drayan's lost wealth, Captain. Let's keep up the chase, shall we? Hmm. Someone's calling on the ship's hollow. Probably a fan. Be a darling and tell them I'm out. All right, darling. All right. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll take the crystals. Uh, I have actually updated my gear as well. So yeah, how exciting! I mean, you, you know, you know so much, Risha. I mean, what are you, not Drain's daughter? What? Like that would ever happen? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh. This is Captain Felara Raid, a free trader Celestial Crow. If anyone's out there, I need help. Uh, I read you, Captain. What's the situation? Ship's engines burned out, power cells fading, losing life support. Can't hold out much longer. I am drifting into a sun. I need help getting my engines going. I'll pay if you help with repairs. You should have mentioned the reward first. Don't have much, but it's all yours. Transmitting my coordinates now. Please hurry. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a damsel in distress. And if you ever watch my stream, it's gonna be fun. So, here's the first thing. When we get to the ship, I'm gonna look out the window. Ooh, hello. There's a planet there as well. Okay. We're gonna look out the window. Right? And we're gonna look we're gonna see the ship. Um now what's the first thing you notice? You see the ship? Where's the sun? Yep. Just pointing that out to you. Oh, 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 and we're not taking Baldar with me. We are not taking Baldar. Where, where is my exit? It's there. We're not taking Baldar with me. We've got to take... Oh. Hate to be nosy. But is there some reason we're docking with a decrepit starship in the middle of nowhere? I need to go help a beautiful woman. You're easily distracted by shiny things, aren't you? I won't tell you how to run your ship, but what am I supposed to do if you don't come back? Boarding another vessel in deep space is tricky. A million things can go wrong. I'm sure you can drive the ship and do whatever the hell you want. You know how careful I am. When you're this far out in space, careful is beside the point. 
You're at least planning to take some muscle, right? You do have a Wookiee? Eh, I was thinking more Corsa. I'll have Bodar tag along. Oh, no! Yeah. Your odds of surviving just tripled. Good luck over there. I hope you don't need it. I lied! I'm taking Corsa with me. So now this is what they need to do depending on the choice you just chose. Um, when you actually do the cutscene, um, depending on which oh, actually yeah. companion you chose in that moment, is the one that you have to go with. Oh, I'm the only one on the Celestial Crow, am I? Oh, well then. Uh, find Faylara. Well, I'm actually going to uh, find the destroyed first and get rid of all the junk that I have Stand in my inventory. Nah, I'm good. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I'm always fit for duty. Hello, droids! What you doing in my way? Oh, it's a bonus mission as well. Ah, oh, sweet! I'll do that. Wait, that was another droid. Why did it run away? I swear there was like three droids and one of them just decided was all like, Ah! Oh, I can't do this! I'm running away! Oh, that, that droid was easy to kill. You won't be though. Okay, so that's uh... Wait, why can't... I was going to say, is that like an invisible wall or something? Or were the servers failing again? Because I found out that the reason why uh, the servers were failing in uh, the last Smuggler episode, and even my uh, Sith of Quizzes episode, was not because of my internet, but because of... Uh, Apparently people think there's some DDoS attacks because of uh, Legion. I mean, maybe. There's supposed to be two more droids around. Where are they? Hmm. Hmm. Two more droids. I need you for the bonus mission. Unless you're through here, maybe? Mm. No, there's just fire there. Okay. Excuse me, Faylara. I'll save you in a moment. I just need to find these other two droids. Um, which are nowhere to be found. Hmm. Oh! They're here. I walked right past them, apparently. Okay. When did that happen? Better? Fair enough. Thank you. Yep, I'll take that bonus experience. And now we'll go and save Faye Lara. Now, sweetie, this wouldn't be a trick at all, would it? Because if it is, you're going to make me mad. Hi there. We're starting to think you wouldn't show. I'd never disappoint a pretty face like yours. <laughs> you're cute. Not my kind of cute, but still. It's a shame. I mean, I am an old you're man. sweet of you. Flying all the way out here to save me. You seem like a nice guy. How wrong you Just are! So you know, this isn't personal. I have to kill you. But it's for love. You're gonna make me shoot you, and then we'll both be sorry. Wait, you think I'm just standing here unprotected? Come on, I'm not stupid. See this wavy light around my body? Uh huh. It's a ray shield. Uh -huh. Blaster fire can't get in or out. Uh huh. <laughs> Neat, huh? Uh huh. That shield won't save you. Shh, quiet. I have to make a call. Oh, let me guess. To Skarvik? Skarvik? Oh, hello! <laughs> it's me, Faylara. Surprise! Surprise! Uh, long time no see, sweetheart. How'd you get this hollow frequency? Does it matter? I've missed you so much, honey bunch. Don't tell me you used to date this crazy woman. What is this, Captain? You're making an army out of my ex-girlfriends? Well, It's not like tempting. that at all. This is your nemesis, right? The captain who stole your ship on Coruscant and made you look stupid? Say goodbye to your girl, Skavik. I'm trying to, believe me. <laughs> Don't be like that. You know you love me. You're just afraid of commitment. I can prove how much I love you, honey bunch. I'm killing this nemesis for you. How come I have to die? Get him, boys. Oh, hello. Droids, hi. You okay? Yeah, you good. I mean, none of you are going to survive. You're all going to die. Um, but hey, you know, you died for a worthy cause. You died for a pretty lady. I mean, not that you have any genitals or anything, but hey, you died for a pretty lady. Know that in your uh, last few seconds of um, your programming. Yeah, yeah. Know that. Energy level too low. Ah. Wow. You're really good. I am. Rish will never let me hear the end of this. 
The guy who sold me those droids said they were top of the line. I want a refund. Uh, let's just call this even. With my ray shield on, you can't hurt me. Hey, Lara, how are you powering that ray shield? Portable battery pack. You know those only last a few minutes, right? Oh! Oh, no. Aw, did the instructions have too many big words? <gasps> Honey Bunch, my shield is down! What am I gonna do? I don't know. Die? Kill you later, Captain. Bye-bye! Honey Bunch, wait! He... He hung up! I thought he loved me! I better get moving. Sure, go. Just like he did. <laughs> I won't stop you. The hatches are unsailed! Bye! I mean, in my stream ages ago, I killed her. Um, but I guess I didn't kill her this time. Oh, I mean, I don't know why Corso didn't like that. I mean, I didn't kill her. I just left her here. You know, just like every other man has ever left her. Oh, poor baby. Hey, Risha, I'm back. I lied by saying I was going to take Bodar, but, you know. Let me guess. It was a trap. How did you know? Are you psychic? Everything went well. No problems at all. Seriously, I've been in this business too long. It's making me paranoid. The truth is, one of Skavik's ex-girlfriends just tried to kill me. I knew it. I can't believe you just lied to me. <laughs> if there's one thing I hate, it's phony distress calls. They make spacers too paranoid to answer the real ones. I'll always do what I can for my fellow spacers. Very noble. I wonder how much trouble that policy will buy us. Let's get out of here. Deep space gives me the creeps. I've set up some new deals on Alderaan and Tatooine. Ready to deliver the rest of this cargo? Whatever it takes to make me rich. That's the spirit. Okay! So, in the next episode, we will be traveling to Tatooine. I'm level 21 now. Ah, uh, yeah, do I get new abilities? Anything new? Anything new? No, absolutely nothing new. When do I get my next thing on the utilities? Uh, level 24. Oh, I got that level 20. Um, so that's, that's kind of good. Uh, aim shot ignores 20% of uh, the target's armor. Eh, eh, eh. So anyway, next time, we'll be heading to Tatooine. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.